Hi, RJ. Bianca's mom said you'd be coming by. How can I help you? We need to learn more about pulleys. What exactly is a pulley? Well, a pulley is a simple machine. It's made from a rope and a wheel. It makes lifting objects easier. How does it do that? It changes the direction of the force. For example, if you're lifting a heavy object off the floor using a pulley mounted to the ceiling, it, you can pull down the rope instead of pushing up. Aren't you using the same amount of force needed to lift an object? Good question. Yes, you are, but it's easier to pull down than to push up. So how would I reduce the amount of force needed to lift a heavy object? If you add a second pulley and you support the load with two ropes, then you only need half of the force to lift it. What if you add a third pulley and support the load with three ropes? If you divide the weight of the object by the number of ropes supporting the load, then you could determine what kind of force you need to lift the object. Awesome. So what do you use pulleys for here at NASA Langer Research Center? As an aerospace engineer and a level three manager of NASA's aviation safety program, I use pulleys in crashworthiness research. What's crashworthiness? Crashworthiness is how well an aircraft protects occupants in a crash. A team of engineers and I conduct tests and analysis on materials, on aircraft structures, and full-scale aircraft. Why is that important? In a real crash, it is very difficult to understand the damage because many things are destroyed. By conducting controlled crash tests, we can better understand what happens in a real crash, and then we can develop better designs that will protect the passengers. You crash real airplanes here? We sure do, right here at the gantry. What exactly is the gantry? The gantry is the Impact Dynamics Research Facility where we perform full-scale crash tests. It was also used by astronauts during the Apollo missions to practice landing on the moon. That's cool. How do you crash planes? A test vehicle is suspended from two swing cables pulled back and released to allow the test vehicle to swing into the impact surface below. The swing cables are pyrotechnically separated from the vehicle just prior to the impact so that free flight conditions are established. Airplanes are really heavy. You must need a lot of pulleys. Actually, we only use one pulley, but it's a pretty big pulley. How much can you lift? We currently can only lift up to 30,000 pounds because that's the maximum capacity of the gantry's bridge. How can you lift 30,000 pounds? I run steel rope from the lifting device through the pulley and then attach it back to the bridge. The pulley is attached to the aircraft. This is called double hitching. 30,000 pounds is a lot of weight. Yes, it is, but we don't need 30,000 pounds of force to lift it. With one pulley attached to the aircraft, you have two ropes supporting the load. Then you only need 15,000 pounds of force. Alfred and Jacob doesn't weigh 30,000 pounds, so I bet we could use pulleys to lift them with no problem at all. Thanks, Mrs. Jones. You're welcome, and good luck, and call if you need anything. Okay.